Hi guys, uh, got a bit of a spring in my step. Uh, I'll get home from work tomorrow, about quarter past 12, midday, quarter past midday. Uh, I'll, I'll have a bite to eat, then I'll come back out, uh, pardon me, I'll have um, a sort out, get my bait ready and stuff, and, um, and then uh, I'll shoot off early Saturday morning. I'm keeping it local. Um, I was going to say it's an easy water, but it's, I don't think anywhere is easy this time of year, is it? Um, bit of a runs water in the warmer months, or it can be. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go there. Don't know how I'm going to play it, tactics, bait, and all that, like I say. So next time you see me, hopefully, I'll have a fish on the bank. Catch you up, mate. I think you can see over there that uh, the full moon is clearly visible. Um, it looks like we'll be fishing right over the other side. So let's go. Morning, gents. Hello, mate. You alright? Yeah, yeah. yeah, not so bad. Look at that for a view. So I've just had a cast around over there, um, about 90 yards or so, just, just really out of um, curiosity. Wanted to have a feel around. Um, the last time I came down here was, was really clear, but I've noticed the, the lead's just dragging a little bit. So um, a little bit of, bit of weed forming over there. Um, so yeah, just out of curiosity really, but fishing fairly close in today. Um, fishing the solid bag at only seven and a half wraps so um, we'll see what's going on but uh, might have seen some fish moving over there um, distance probably around uh, 80 90 yards something like that but uh, they're definitely moving but I came down here last last Sunday and I had a, a walk around I was telling Mike earlier and the amount of fish I saw over by that wall over there probably can't see it because of the glare from the sun it's absolutely incredible especially for February um, it's amazing and there's quite a few of them taking I don't know what I don't know what they were but there were little particles floating on the top I couldn't quite make out what they were but they were taking them off the top so um, it's a bit of an eye-opener really for February so yeah I'm gonna get this solid bag on and uh, give it a chuck and see how it goes pass the solid bag through just pull it there you go ready to go just tighten it up a little bit more get a little towel Put that there, put my solid bag on, do my wraps.
this is awesome absolutely awesome just been talking to Mike and uh, while we were chatting just seen two carp moving uh, right in front of him well probably about 25 yards out they're all moving I'm um, about 70 yards out now and I'm getting a lot of line knocks so I'm going to bring that left rod in now and so I'm going to cast it out to around 45 maybe 50 and see what happens then I'm just going to fire a few boilies out the catapult you can hear that that's just that left rod is constantly knocking so yeah, I'm going to do that now and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to take these off. So I've put about 20, maybe 25 boilies out on that left rod at about 40, maybe 45 yards. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's not very scientific, but uh, I've gone a little bit further out again. Um, I've had lots of liners. Um, so, like I said earlier, I came in a little bit closer, but I think I'm coming too close because all the liners have just um, dried up. So I've gone probably around between seven and ten yards further out this time, and uh, just put another probably ten, twelve boilies out there. So uh, there you go. There's another liner. definitely a lot of fish moving 100% well I don't want to go all negative on you but <laughs> as we came in this morning we got talking to a couple of old blokes I say old <laughs> same age as me ish and uh, one of them said lads be prepared to blank I just thought to myself, nah mate, nah. I, I thought, I got a good feeling about today. Um, but that's dissipating at a fast rate. It's just really weird because um, all the activity that, that was happening earlier, all the fish moving and, and it's just, it's gone dead. <laughs> really strange oh it's uh, quarter past ten by <laughs> by the way um, so yeah I suppose that's uh, negativity with a smile on my face <laughs> Mike's fell asleep <laughs> he said I'm gonna watch a film he started watching this film and just heard the snoring so uh, the film must be pants <laughs> all right mate <laughs> he's watching the film over there but he's snoring 
<laughs> I said, remind me not to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it must be good. I'll lose attention. See you then, mate. That was funny. Ah, dear me. Come on then, little fishies. Good to be having you. The zigs are coming out. Not my favourite method, but let's give it a shot. Where I'm is about eight foot deep, and I'm actually fishing a, a four foot zig, so. Uh, Midwater is the target at the moment. I'll probably give it an hour, hour and a half maybe. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep moving it and watching the water and I can honestly say I'm seeing nothing at the moment but I'm going to get the monocular out see if that will shed any more light on what's going on but yeah I'll update you in a bit so I still need a fish. That needs christening. Jarf, I feel like I'm in last chance saloon. And um, probably sounds a bit odd because it's only 10 to 3 and it doesn't get dark till around half 5, quarter to 6. But I just have a feeling that um, it's not going to happen. Which is really odd for here. Like I said before, it's um, it's not an easy water, but I don't very often blank on here, so um, it's really weird. It's hard to describe because I, I know the fish are moving, and I've seen quite a few on the surface, but it's just not happening. Um, like I said earlier, I tried the zig seen that gave it a fair crack tried it in a few different places yeah. find it really odd but I'll stick with it and uh, see what happens still got a solid bag on the right rod fishing a bottom bait on the left Well, different day, same lake, different peg, um, same result, no fishes yet, but it is only um, quarter past 8 am obviously, I'm still fishing the same in terms of um, rigs solid bag left rod and um, fishing a bottom bait on my right rod I'm fishing over by that wall there about two yards off on my left rod and I'm fishing it about 70 yards out on my right rod to 11 just put another solid bag on but this time I've gone 10 yards further and I've gone a little bit closer to that wall um, I've got a feeling 
just from being here a couple of weeks ago that the fish are a little bit closer there or like I say to that wall because that's where I saw the movement as I was walking down the side of it first fish of 2021 and yeah I know long overdue uh, but I finally christened the old uh, cradle bloody hell I'm so excited I forgot what the cradle was called for a second <laughs> um, so yeah buzzing about that um, change tactic well not really tactics is it I just went a little bit closer to the wall that, that's all but um, that seemed to have paid off anyway so guess where I've put it again <laughs> right by the wall uh, I'm absolutely over moon with that guys I really am um, um, what I noticed about the water is it's so cold the fish was extremely cold I didn't expect that at all um, and he was in good condition as well which was nice <sighs> Okay guys, so um, it is quarter past three, so I've got another two and a half, maybe three hours left. Um, I don't know what to say really, um, it's been a really weird day, and yes I'm, I'm grateful or happy at least that um, I've caught that one fish. Um, I've just been talking to a couple of blokes actually that just walked they've done a walk around the whole lake and there's only two carp come out today um, the one I caught earlier and uh, a match angler about four pegs down he had one around about two pound he said um, so it's all really weird because the way the fish were moving around um, early doors I really thought it was going to be a, a productive day um, and I had loads of liners I think I might have mentioned that earlier and then it just died off and uh, I could hear the I could hear the two blokes next to me saying how bad it was because obviously um, they usually catch a lot more than that but uh, but yeah was, still really enjoyed it um, and uh, like I said, I've finally christened that thing there, the old uh, cradle. So that's good news. And we've had a bit of sunshine as well. So all in all, not a bad day. Okay guys, I'm, uh, I'm about to pack up. It is only quarter past four and it's a little bit of an unusual time for me to pack up, to be honest because there is a probably a couple of hours of light left um, but I just fancy getting home having a shower putting the football on and getting a takeaway so that is exactly what I'm gonna do so thanks for watching see you all soon